Reuters. The challenge of providing mobile communications to remote rural areas is looking a little more surmountable thanks to the wind and sun in the southern African nation of Namibia. It's here that Motorola has been conducting the world's first customer-based trial of a wind and solar-powered network. The renewable energy cell site was developed at Motorola's Innovation Center in the UK. Richard Martin oversees the project. Well, what we've done, we've put a, a wind turbine and a solar panel um, on a mobile base station in Namibia, um, and together with a, a, bat a set of batteries. The wind and the solar panels keep the batteries charged. The batteries then run the base station. So what we're proving is that a combination of wind and solar will be able to power a base station in some of these extremely remote locations where it's almost impossible to run a base station effectively otherwise. Martin says the results have been extremely positive even in the most trying conditions during the winter. We've not only kept the site running 24-7, during the night when the battery is only getting power from the wind, um, it, it drops down in terms of its, the amount of electricity still left in the batteries, but it's dropped down quite low. The, the batteries have kept the power um, available in the batteries quite high, so there's plenty of power there. In fact, there's enough power for us to actually run other equipment off of it, which is what's, what the operators are now doing. They're connecting other things to that power supply. What this means, according to Martin, is that operators can now afford to place mobile base stations in locations where otherwise they wouldn't have been able to. So more people will have access to wireless communications, the operator stands to make more revenue, and Motorola can sell more base stations. There are, there are huge parts of Africa that aren't covered by any form of mobile communications, and so these are the areas where this sort of solution will be one of the factors that will bring reception to those areas. And, and people in Africa use their mobile phone in, in ways that we wouldn't even dream of, because it's their only phone. But though there are social advantages to this green technology, Motorola's Martin concedes the decision to run this trial is really about rolling out its business even further, for this is where the opportunities for growth lie. Matt Cowan, Reuters.